Well, one thing is for certain, the complaints do not stop and they are the same every single year. How my single chats are doing today? How my stud muffins are doing today? Man, I gotta say this, we're gonna be listening to the cries, we're gonna be listening to the toxic gamers, we're gonna be listening to the Call of Duty refugees, we're gonna be listening to the toxic and strong independent stud muffins out there, we're gonna be listening to everybody's cries today, okay? Like this video because uh, this will help prevent forest fires and Twitter beefs, Bruh. and let's Let's get into the story guys I'm to the channel to and welcome back to the full launch of modern warfare 3 yeah. you guys knew this video was coming we have yeah. to talk about Hell the skill based yeah. matchmaking <laughs> in this game we talked about it during yeah. the beta it really seemed yeah. like it was being ramped up during the beta but here in the full launch things are getting absolutely insane i thought mm. at first when i was playing early because people were connecting to the new zealand servers and stuff like that and those were the most dedicated of the most those are toxic gamers hardcore players out there you know people that wanted to play the game so desperately on a thursday afternoon by connecting their consoles to a whole different bruh like 10 years ago i could have understood that concept but right now bruh like dog you're telling me that you cannot wait like a couple of hours I, I know i know like everybody's everybody was looking like this everybody's like guys yeah i need to watch another emo blame truth video but that is wrong, wrong. that is kept because this time seconds are like I need to pre-order this game without looking at the homie emo blame truth though which is absolutely shocking to say the least guys at least watch an emo blame or i should say blame truths video review video before purchasing a call of duty game i know you want to be doing like i'm strong i'm independent i do not need to watch a review video before buying the game i can just pre-order the game and play like it is the best game ever and then it turns out that it's the worst game ever and then all of a sudden you are just contemplating that hey man my life sucks and my life is like you feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, guys, just watch a review video from Emo Blame Truth, bruh. Like, country like, and then doing a glitch bruh. to join the game if you play on PC. Like, I understood that aspect of it. And the game was kind of hard to judge because we we're playing on those terrible servers. The connectivity was bad. Packet burst was bad. But now the full launch is out. Everybody has access to the game now. Things have only gotten worse. I started off by playing solo, right? Solo <laughs> was pretty difficult to begin with. But, man, it just seems like it's so ramped up. It's kind of yeah. like... What? What well, what the actual F was that? Groot? Right, Solo was pretty Yo! That's Groot? Oh my god! Oh, shit. Difficult to begin with, but man, it just that seems like it's cool. so ramped up. It's kind of like Modern Warfare 2, the last game that we had, where if you're a solo player, not only do you have to run that ACS field upgrade because no one else is going to play the objective, but you better have your best guns, your best attachments, your best perks. You better be running ghosts. You better have your sneaky sneakers on. Like, you have to try so hard just to like barely do normal. And, uh, and also, uh, instead of just, uh, I mean, listen, I mean, sneaky sneaker, sneakers are fine, but have you heard about the friendly? In this day and age, you also need a friendly UAV online, my brothers. You need a friendly UAV online as well, bro. In Call of Duty these days because of how ramped up skill-based matchmaking is, but that's yeah. something I've kind of gotten used to over the years because I normally yep. play solo. Yep. Yep. Well, today we were playing with a group and things Ow. just got insane and I just, I have to break down the entire- Playing Call of Duty with your friends nowadays is the worst thing ever, bruh. Back in my days, emergency meeting, emergency meeting, run, run. Back in the days, playing with, with your friends was the best thing ever. It still is. But other games, not Call of Duty. Did, you probably did not see that plot twist Bruh. coming, right? Like the video if skill-based matchmaking should be removed. Dislike the video if you love skill-based matchmaking and you have a hard-on for skill-based matchmaking. But back in the days, bruh, playing with your friends was therapy. It, it was the best thing ever. But nowadays, it's the worst thing imaginable to um to mankind, to all the human species. I mean, are there different species? Yeah, sure. But but to humans, it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> It is a my bad guys. Uh, it is uh, like I'm jet lag bro. Like I've been traveling the entire day from Pakistan to Canada, bro. Like 21 hours. Are you guys kidding me? So give me a give me a little bit, okay? But here's the thing though. Like playing with your friends, especially in the skill based matchmaking era and this toxic gamers era, it is by far the worst thing imaginable, bro. They bro, like they should remove skill based matchmaking completely. I'm just saying put it in rank mode and that's where it, it should be that's its place though like the video if you agree though entire story because dude this is actually pretty wild so we're all playing together right this is a group of my friends that live in the same town as i as well as a couple of friends from like michigan we had one friend down there in florida he played for a yeah. little bit but he had to go to work and you know we're just hey, yo florida 
Yo, GTA 6, when is that coming out though? Playing with a group of our friends, the same friend group that we've had forever. We all come back for COD every single year and we have a good time just playing the game together. Yeah. Well, as such, we started to go on a little bit of a win streak and incrementally Ow. we noticed how the lobbies were getting crazier and crazier and crazier. I was going on like 20 kill streaks playing war and then the very next game, suddenly we get a full stack of people against us and that is when things started to get really sweaty. Well, mm. after that, we decided, okay, well, we won our game of war, we're on a bit of a win streak here yeah. let's go try out some other game boats i want yeah, to play and that was where the cookie crumbles oh, shit. Oh, shit. this is where the cookie cookie crumbles guys like i mean damn bro in this day and age Sega cannot even even try something new they actually played the war mode right and, and then they they were like like playing like other other games they were winning they were getting the w's they were getting hard-ons they were doing helicopters with their release they were shaking but then you know what they were like, let's experiment. Let's play the ring play right now. Finally, we are ready, they said. A and uh, they uh, they did not know, right? The more they know, or there's another word to describe it, but right now it's not coming up. But then they, they forgot that this skill-based matching and this algorithm only needs for you to play five matches for it to tell you how many kids you're gonna have and it's gonna read your entire data okay your entire brain your entire mind it's gonna do like studies on your mind it can brain read your you your you feel what i'm saying and, and after that they know everything about you and then they're gonna hit you up with these uh with these lobbies where it's like nothing but just toxic gamers bro control because i've always enjoyed control ever since it came out in black ops 4 oh, wow. and again initially it was kind of wow. okay but eventually our lobbies got sweatier and sweatier and sweatier because we kept winning my friend zach mm -hmm. just started playing today with us he didn't play it all last night he didn't play early he had a perfect win loss ratio like he, we never lost right so every game got sweatier and sweatier and sweatier to the point where they just basically said we weren't allowed to play control anymore <laughs> as you guys can see they started ramping up our matches our connection was getting worse and worse as each match went on because they had to keep looking outside of our local area call of duty is the only game where you cannot win matches if you win matches then you should not be playing call of duty play other games if you want to win matches call of duty is not a game to win matches okay smash a like button if you are finally understanding the concept of he is not here winning. so that we can try to get put in the lobbies with people that are sweatier or maybe are just better at the game or whatever until eventually they could not find us a single game under 200 ping they just straight Damn. up said you know what you can't do that you Brad, were they connecting to people on planet Mars? You really aren't just allowed to play anymore. So we took Brad. like a 10 minute break and then we came back and we're like, okay, let's jump back into this here. Let's actually get playing. We'll try domination. Maybe control doesn't have a ton of people in it. Bad and then idea. we get terminal. The first time we played terminal all day, I was very excited to play it. Beautiful looking map. So many memories on this map, but then something felt off. A and then those memories were tainted by the skill based management. Off. As we were playing, it just, it seemed like we were getting beamed. I mean, like we're winning, but dude like you ever see someone that drop shots and it's like they drop shot instantly like within one frame just boom they're on the ground then they're jumping right back up and like within two frames they're down and they're back up it's just like it's really laggy well my friend Foley here said dude check the scoreboard and we did and lo and behold look at our ping compared to these guys on the other team again so just so Bruh. Bruh. wow wow dude yo ping. So 36, 38, 35, 46, 455 is the max though. And for them, the max is like 130. God damn though. And this boy, Del Boy rank is like 16. And this guy has like a 46 ping because he's most probably the worst player ever. But good players, I mean, damn, like 28. I mean, ranks do not determine how good you are right but, but 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 still right like in this case i mean anybody over like, like these suckers i mean like look at that right this guy's like level eight and he has 33 latency that tells me that he just picked up modern warfare 3 and the skill based match we is trying to learn and grow with him as he progresses in his baton in his battalion in his call of duty ranks you feel what i'm shane man this sucker th this game is crazy bruh I Activision, we still under Bobby Kotick's regime, bro. Phil Spender, you need to do something. Like the video if he should remove skill based match right now, bro. So hyper, me, Buck Bagalini, and my buddy Foley, we all live in the same town, like not even a five minute walk away from each other. Dramatic Replays lives in Michigan, which is like, I don't know, an hour Michigan? and a half away from where we live. We all live very close, and we're all the ones with 120, 130 ping. Everybody else in the lobby is sitting there at like 30.
I, I mean, Activision is based in California, so shout out to California IQ out there, bruh. Uh, only, only Activision IQ. My bad, my bad, guys. My bad. Like, not trying to offend my Californian homies out there. I know there are a lot of, like, really, really good California. I mean, come here, boo boo. Come here, boo boo. Let me, let me give you some kisses, boo boo. Let me give you some kisses. I wasn't trying to, trying to be uh, harsh like that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just saying to Activision, that's in California. Okay, shout out to Activision in California. The 40 ping, maybe. Which made us kind of think that these people aren't from our country. I don't think we're playing Damn. against Americans. Yo. And then at the very end of the game, this is... Yo, he didn't just say... What did he say? Into the happening. Nate jumped in the game chat and it was so freaking funny. <laughs> Hey, oh, where are you guys from? I'm gonna your Scotland. fucking pleasant, you can't lose you bastard. <laughs> 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 how, how do you guys are do we... this? We're hot. BOMBOCARD! Yeah, this is crazy. Yo, you twat, you twat, you twat waffle. None of your fucking business, bruh. None of your business, bruh. like, I, in Urdu, bro, let me just switch up some languages real quick. Like, yeah, kutte deo bache ho, yaar. Pain, cho, gaan madwa ja ke, kutte, mein na abhi jata hoon, baer jata hoon, abhi yaan. Yaan, thand pa rhi hai, snow pa rhi hai, okay? So, mein baer nahi nikla hai. Itni thandi pa rhi hai, mein jai nahi sakta. Lekin, kal jab mousam thanda hota hai na, mein laata hoon, bhaade wala chata laata hoon, aap kutte pain cho ke liye. Okay, gaan mein kus aake na, phad jata hoon, ek dup, ek dup khul jata hoon, okay? Yeah, there I said it, guys. Like the video if you did not understand that, bro. Oh, they're literally like for Irish. Are you basically a cousin of the Russians, you fucking spy? What is happening? Like a gypsy bastard. Why are we in this life? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Humans, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Give it up for humans, bros. Oh, it's going That's insane that we just played in that lobby. <laughs> we just got called fuckhead gypsy bastards by some straight up Irishmen over there, man. Like, we're talking like Europeans. We got thrown into a European lobby because we were on a 10 plus win streak. Again, they would not give us a game of control. Our lobby's connection was getting worse and worse until eventually they threw three guys from Pennsylvania and one dude from Michigan to a shout out to pennsylvania lobby over in freaking europe because uh, this isn't a dead game right i mean the game just came out there are servers everywhere the servers are full of so many people playing you can't tell me we couldn't find a server in america for crying out loud here like holy shit and then the very next game is the footage that you guys were watching earlier we load into another domination match this time on quarry and i quickly realize that we don't have any teammates they just didn't give us one i'm sure there was a fifth teammate when we were loading in but that guy must have backed out right before the match even started. So we started the match down four people to six. And I even joked. I'm like, you know, for a fact, we're not getting a teammate. And guess what, guys? We didn't get a fucking teammate the entire... And guess what, guys? These cries are going to keep on going, my brothers. But this video is waiting for you. This literally just happened, man. I mean, damn, guys. Like, holy mother of God, bruh. Like, really? Y'all for real? Click on this video and I will see you right there, man. I swear to you.